Welcome to Unbreakable Latina. Hi guys, welcome back to Unbreakable Latina. This is your host Melina. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day and had an amazing weekend. What a week this has been. Let me explain. So, I know last week I told you guys that I hit 10K in podcast listens. To me, that was a huge stepping stone. I had put that as a goal of mine to hit 10K by April, and I'm ahead a whole month. And I am so thankful. I'm so proud of myself. But, um, so Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, Tuesday, I think, I usually film my TikToks during lunch because it's the only time that I have and I don't do like batch content creating that's not my jam I get overwhelmed when I think about planning something like that I know for some people it's easier for me like I mentioned before I'm more of a less of a planner more of a spur of the moment kind of gal and so I do my TikToks during my lunch break after I eat, and then on my way from my car to my office, I post them. So I did. I made one um, along the lines that said, when someone says, it's going to take you a long time to gain podcast listeners because you're not even famous, something like that. But it's been five months and you already have 11K listens posted it, walked into work. I've had a very busy week at work and I just kept noticing that my watch kept going off and I didn't realize why. And I started seeing like, oh, comment, comment on TikTok. But I, after work, I did um, glance at it. I was like, whoa, that's a lot of comments. But I had to go hiking and I didn't have time to like really check anything. And after I left my hiking trail, I got in my car and I started looking at all the comments and I was in awe. I got I gained so many followers on TikTok. I went from like 2000 to like 8000 in 24 hours. And I am so thankful for all your comments and everyone just saying that they relate to me and my experiences because Sometimes I'm really hard on myself. Not sometimes, all the time. I've always been very hard on myself and I hear this from multiple friends like, why can't you just like stop being so hard on yourself? You're always so positive towards everybody except yourself. And it's something that I'm working on. But honestly guys, like the messages that I've gotten, like I've been in freaking tears. Like the other day I was eating with my mom dinner and I was reading one of the messages. And it was just, like, someone saying, like, thank you for being a voice. Like, okay, I had to pause that because I couldn't stop crying. But all these messages from people saying, like, thank you for being a voice. It's like I'm talking to a friend, um, like a sister, a big sister I never had, a prima that I've always wanted. And you guys, like, this means so much to me because for a long time, I felt very lost. And I didn't know what my purpose in life was. I wasn't fulfilled. And I've never felt so fulfilled, so happy, so proud. And it makes me overwhelmed with joy. And if you didn't know how much this means to me, I hope you do now by listening. Like, your messages, although, like, I'm I'm a one-woman show. I did say that on one of my Instagram stories. And it's it's not always that I can get back to you right away. Like, I try, I see them, but I'm working. And I am just, I have no words. I have no words. Um, I want to thank you guys for sharing. Uh, I know like some girls have told me, oh, hey, I send it to all my cousins or I send it to my sisters. We're hooked on this. And I've seen your your um, reviews on Apple Podcasts. If you haven't reviewed it, I'd love for you guys to review it. I did a search on someone else's phone the other day and I just put Latina Podcasts and mine was one, mine was one of the ones that popped up. And it feels so surreal. Like, and... 
it, it just doesn't feel real. Like, someone pinch me. Okay, don't pinch me. <laughs> but it feels so surreal. And I actually went to brunch with my friend Angela yesterday. We were going to record a podcast, but we were both extremely tired. And I just told her, like, it's okay. Like, I get it. Like, take your day off. You work hard. I work hard. I did absolutely nothing, but we did talk a lot and have a very therapeutic mimosa brunch, and we were just talking about how far we've come. Angela and I met in 2013, and we met not even knowing that we lived in the same area. We actually met in Spain, and we've been friends ever since. So we have connected throughout the years and, you know, gone through heart breaks and family problems and we always just like are very open with each other and the day that I decided to start the podcast I actually had came back from a trip to San Diego with her we went on a girl's trip and I told her you know what like I'm gonna go buy my laptop today like I'm done saying that I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that and I don't do it and she's like yeah friend go do it so I did I drove back from San Diego went to the Apple store picked up my laptop ordered my mic and got everything set up and this was in September my first podcast was in October and she was just like Fran remember when you said that you were gonna start a podcast and I'm like yeah I can't believe I actually did it because I'm usually like I get lazy I'm not gonna lie (laughs) and she's like look at it so I was like sharing with her like some of the messages that I've gotten it and her and I like she like she was wearing her sunglasses and then I was like reading to her like one of the messages I got she's like oh my god and then we both started crying and I'm just like she's like I'm so happy for you like honestly like see watching you grow and all the crap you've been through and I'm like I know like I can't even believe it and we were just taking it all in and Like I said, I can't believe this is my life and that I finally found something that I am so passionate about. So I hear it from my like sister, my mom, my all my family, my close friends are like, oh, like look at you, like so proud of you. But I feel like they have to tell me that because they're my family. But hearing it from people that I've never met, sorry fam, but it hits different because they don't know me. They have no idea who I am. They don't have to tell me nice things. I have received some mean things, but who cares about those people? There's always going to be people talking shit. So if if anything, what you can take from my experience is just do whatever makes you happy. And if people see it as something negative, then fuck them. Because I receive hate messages here and there already and I just laugh at them my mom's like no les pongas atención but I'm like it's just funny to me that people go about their day and like decide like hey I'm gonna like attack this person that I don't even know and for no reason like si no tienes nada bonito que decir mejor no digas nada but there's always gonna be negativity anywhere you just have to brush it off and sometimes it does get hard but it is what it is Another TikTok that I posted was about the guy that uh, made fun of my hairy arms. (laughs) If you haven't seen it, go check it out. So many of you can relate. And I'm sorry that people feel the need to comment on our appearance. I'm fucking hairy. I'm so hairy. My face is hairy. I actually just shaved my face this morning because... And I shave it not because I need to, but because I like how my makeup looks when I shave my face. It just looks a lot better. It goes on smoother. And I don't need to explain myself to anybody. I shave it because I want to shave it, but I am hairy. Um, that's what I freaking uh, inherited from my dad, just fucking being a hairy monster. And it's fine. And I own up to my hairiness and hairy girls unite. I should make a shirt that says hairy girls unite. <laughs> but I posted that so many of you could relate and people are fucked up and... The last thing that you should do is comment on someone's appearance. And there was a few guys on the comments that I seen that were like, oh, you should have shaved and nobody taught you how to shave. And I'm like, dude, like I could grow a bigger bigote than you. So chill out. So on today's episode, I wanted to discuss um, imposter syndrome because I feel like I suffer 
like a lot of us do, but I suffer from imposter syndrome. So imposter syndrome is loosely defined as doubting your abilities and feeling like a fraud. It disproportionately affects high achieving people who find it difficult to accept their accomplishments. I have often felt this way, but this week it was just like, okay, like you need to take credit for what you've done because I felt like, oh, okay, like I just got lucky with this podcast following and I was telling my mom and she's like, pues tú lo hiciste, tú le echaste ganas, tú eres la que estás ahí haciendo tus episodios y trabajas duro y aunque estés cansada después de tu trabajo, todavía estás haciendo cosas para el podcast. And I'm like, yeah, but, but I, I don't know, mom, like I just, it doesn't feel real. And I recently had read an article about imposter syndrome and how a lot of us first-gen Latinas are experiencing it. Like, you go to college and you get into these programs and you're, you're in your master's, you're in your doctorate, so you, and you feel like, do I really belong here? Do I deserve this? And you do, but it's hard to accept it sometimes because you think like, oh, but like my grandma didn't get to do this, my mom didn't get to do this, like why am I worthy of these experiences? But you are worthy of these experiences, but your mind just tries to mess with you. So I remember when I started my job, I used to always say like, fake it till you make it, fake it till you make it. And I hate that I said that because I didn't fake it till I made it. I learned and I'm worthy and I belong there because I, of all my hard work, it, my hard work didn't happen overnight. It was me applying myself to my job. And if you feel that way, just remember that you do deserve to be in that position. You are more than enough and you're amazing. You're an asset and they are lucky to have you because you're worth it. So if you have ever felt this way when it comes to relationships, friendships, experiences, your job, just remind yourself that you worked very hard and you're deserving of these experiences and whatever you're doing, your travels, like I know sometimes I catch myself like I've spoken it about about it before, but feeling guilty for like my parents not experiencing things that I get to experience, but it's like I am worthy of these experiences because I have worked hard. I've put myself through school. I work hard to get money so I can travel and have these experiences. I find myself like thinking when I get some positive feedback about my podcast, like, oh, thank you so much. Like, oh, they're so nice. But I don't take into consideration that all my hard work isn't going unnoticed. And I try to like to play it down. And even though it makes my day, I'm still like, is, I'm just like an average girl, you know, behind a mic. And I catch myself like, no, like you've worked hard for this. You put yourself out there like you are kind of a big deal. And I hate that I can't just take credit for it. Like I always try to play it down. So in the research that I did, it says that us Latinos were historically, we've been excluded in prominent spaces and sometimes achieving success makes us doubt that we deserve it. And I completely agree with this because for so long, we didn't get to experience these things. We're just starting to get to experience these things. And our parents sometimes didn't get to experience what we have. And this syndrome, it's, it's very serious because it can stop you from a lot of different things, like from applying to a promotion or doing something that you've been wanting to do, but then you're like, oh, but I'm not good enough because nobody's going to want to listen to me or no one, no one's going to take me seriously. It's like listening to someone be brutally judgmental towards you, but you're doing it to yourself. It's no one else. You're the one that's creating this false narrative that is not even true. So we need to learn how to stop doing this. And I myself need to learn how to stop doing this. Um, the other day I recorded the last episode, I'm not your spicy Latina. And I came out of my room and I told my mom like, oh, like I, it was not even good mom. Like, oh, it's going to suck so bad. Like it's not my best work. Like, I don't know, mom. And she's like, ay, pa que dices eso luego mañana te van a decir que estaba, que estaba bueno el episodio. And I'm just like, no, mom, like it sucks. Like I'm disappointed in myself. And the next day I had like so many people reach out to me saying, oh my God, like I could relate so much to this. And I'm just like, 
here I was last night, like, I was, I get, like, anxiety when I upload the episodes, and I'm like, oh, was it even good? What I said was that stupid? Are people gonna hate me? Like, I always think negatively, and I know I'm working on it, guys, but that just goes to show that we all suffer from it, and that we need to learn how to stop doing that. So a couple tips on how to stop that imposter syndrome are confide in your friends and your family, be open with them, be like, hey, like, I don't know, I, I'm feeling like I'm not worthy of this. And even though like for me, like, I feel like my family and friends always have to be nice to me, but I have some family members and I have a lot of friends who are brutally honest. So they will tell me like, you're overreacting, like you deserve it, like all the hard work you've done. So open up a conversation and like, I've opened up conversations like that with my friends and they're like, I feel the same way. Like, I feel like I don't deserve everything I'm experiencing. And then I'm like, no, but you do like, you've worked so hard, like you studied, you did this, but I can't do that to myself. So maybe that would help you guys like opening up with your friends, your family, your, your significant other, just tell them how you feel. Don't suffer in silence if you have these feelings. If it's hard for you to open up to somebody else, um, maybe just try to be your own hype woman, your own hype man. Um, you can actually change the way you see yourself by talking about yourself in a positive light. Um, you can make a list of things to show that you are qualified for whatever experience that you're questioning that you're not qualified for. You can own your accomplishments. Remember everything you've accomplished, how far you've come. Visualize the success. Visualize that you are deserving of this experience, this position, because when you visualize it, it becomes more real and be like, I can do this. Like, pump yourself up. And most importantly, don't forget that you're not alone. Um, we all go through this, but you just have to try to break that bad habit that we all have. And I'll try myself because it's been very hard to not be affected by this imposter syndrome. So I've been asked, how did I start my podcast? And a couple tips that I have for you. I'm no expert. Like I said, I just started. So I came up with a name. Well, actually, my sister helped me come up with a name. We were just sitting down one day and we were just kept like throwing out names and we came up with this beautiful name of Unbreakable Latina. I used to have a sponsorship with Anchor FM. That's where I upload my um, podcast. And the commercial used to say, like, the easiest way to start a podcast, and it would recommend it. But my sponsorship's over, so it doesn't come up on my episodes anymore. But you can find it by going to my link, www.unbreakablelatina.com. Once you go on that link, it will take you to Anchor FM. And right there, you can learn how to start your podcast for free. It's at no charge. You don't have to pay to be part of it. You can record, you can edit, and you can distribute your podcast on there. So for me, that's the easiest way to start the podcast. Everything else, you'll just start learning. Um, on YouTube, I, there's a lot of helpful people that will teach you how to start a podcast. And if you want to spend money, they'll tell you which microphones are the best, which are like mid-range and which are the, low, the lower, cheaper ones. I mean, you can start easily like by recording on your iPhone. I know a lot of people record like that. It's just whatever you're willing to invest in and everybody's journey is different. So a couple things I wanted to talk about are that I have huge goals for this podcast. Um, I do want to get some merch going soon. Uh, I it's really important for me to look a certain way because I'm picky with my clothes. So I want some good quality stuff. So I've, I've been researching and hopefully by mid of this year, I have some merch going for you guys. I'm super stoked to start designing and like get the graphics going. I have so many ideas. Like I said, I have stickers coming in. They're on their way. I'll show you guys. I hope they came out good. They looked good, but we'll see. If you guys want to sponsor me, I'd appreciate it so much. You can sponsor me for as low as 99 cents a month. The link to the support um, to sponsor me is on the show notes. If you have any questions on where to find it, you can message me on Instagram and I'll let you know. Um, by sponsoring me, this money would go towards merch that I want to create. And just to buy another microphone and 
get things going like this is this is happening <laughs> so i'd love if you guys would love to um sponsor me i'd appreciate it so much and i hope you guys all have an amazing week and you enjoyed this episode i look forward to creating more like i said i do want to have guests i just haven't had time to do it but i have a couple uh, vacation days coming up because my birthday is next month I will be turning. I will be turning. <laughs> I'll be turning 32, and I can't believe it. My birthday is April 9th. I think I'm gonna go to Valle de Guadalupe. So, if you guys have any recommendations on where to go, I know I want to go to Frida one of the days. But if you guys know like where to stay, I've never been out there, so I'm super excited to go do that. And hopefully, those days that I get off, I could um, have some people on the podcast record some episodes, even if I pre record and then edit them at a later time. That'd be amazing. And, anyways, have a wonderful week. I love all of you guys. You guys bring so much joy to my life. You don't even understand. And don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Unbreakable Latina. Have a great week. And remember to not let that imposter syndrome get the best of you. Thank you.